on three alpha reviewing this new sky fi thriller dropped on netflix is called zone 414 it is starring travis female guy pierce and this movie is directed by andrew braid this movie this morning like it dropped on netflix and i had no idea in this movie it there's also travis female in it so when i saw him He's playing this uh, like uh, kind of scientist in this movie and he has this awkward uh, get up and make up in this. But the way he was talking, I was like, oh, is that Travis Fimmel? I was really surprised by him in this movie. Although this movie centers around David played by Guy Pierce. So in this movie, uh, you see David gets hired by Matilda Bade in this movie. He's like this scientist who created this zone called 414 where all the android lives there yeah this movie story is actually quite similar to like when you watch it some of the characters and uh, all the the way this movie stage yeah the way this movie stage and the production design looks similar to blade runner but actual story they are telling trying to tell here it is like kind of like a west world although they don't have west world budget uh, because in this movie, uh, the Bade character, Travis Fimmel, he played in this movie. When you hear his thought in this movie, you can see he's actually playing kind of like a Anthony Hopkins character in Westworld. He sees uh, this, some of this android, he's like uh, particularly one of them he's very close to. He thinks he, she's very special, uh, same like in Westworld. Uh, again, it's not very well written like Westworld neither some of the dialogues are good uh, however i thought this movie was okay probably because i saw this movie on netflix for free and i am a huge fan of travis female and guy pierce both of this actor i really like watching them. overall this movie how it plays out uh, there is some interesting aspect because you don't know what happened to his daughter like where did she goes missing and uh, although this movie the production design is really they try to make it Blade Runner because to make a Blade Runner looking movie is actually cheap if you try to make your movie like Westfall it's more expensive because throughout the, all the character they talk about uh, why people are going to this zone zone 14 and what is they do there what is their desire and Travis Fimmel kept saying to Guy Pierce, people like you can't afford that place end of the day for him to protect his the place it's a reputation is so important just like westworld even in westworld people go there do stuff with the ai and some of the ai start gaining consciousness that is what this movie tried to do here uh, but unfortunately it wasn't very good at uh, storytelling uh, but i wouldn't say this movie is as bad as other people say uh, as i was saying there is some interesting aspect that i found it interesting and it's free on netflix if you watch it free it's not that bad, but if you have to pay for it, I understand it. it's a waste of your money. Uh, although I wish the, uh, the villain was a little bit more uh, effective. The villain guy, the Travis Fimmel's brother, he's in this movie. Like the minute you meet him and all the, I'm like, oh, it's so obvious he's the villain. I wish his uh, character was a little bit better written. Uh, obviously this movie, uh, I was looking for the budget. It's only $5 million they made us this movie. Now it's on Netflix. I think they made their money back now. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure some people will check this out. It's on Netflix. And many people like me actually like Guy Pierce also. Terrible female. I also like him. I wish his character was a little bit more. Although he was saying some interesting stuff. Again, I wish the dialogue was better. Because he was trying to say some important stuff. Like Anthony Hopkins in this movie. Like... I created this AI, they are important, they are expensive, I need to protect them. Uh, it's not uh, like well written all the dialogue. I wish it was. Uh, if it was well written dialogue, I think this movie would have been much better. I know, now you are thinking, why you think this movie was okay? As I was saying, I had okay time watching. Doesn't mean it was a great movie. There's many movies like that, you know, you watch it and you're like, huh? Oh. Well, the rest of my time. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought on this movie. Let me know in the comment what you think about this movie. And if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to check out my other reviews. And if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to subscribe and take care.